Hello class, my name is Dr. Keith Lindsay and I am uh, privileged to be your teacher for health and wellness of this uh, semester. Uh, I just wanted to give this a uh, little bit as an introduction to let you know who I am so that you can see uh, my face and let you know that I look forward to working with the, uh, each one of you uh, throughout the course of this term. Um, I want you to relax, enjoy this course. Um, feel free to ask me any questions that you want. Uh, it's going to be a very uh, excellent fact-finding adventure. Health and wellness. You know, as we first talked about looking at that introduction to health and wellness and what are the things that it encompasses and, and what are the things that we look at when we talk about health and also personal wellness. You know, and it reminded me of looking back to the overall concept of health and looking at your physical health, looking at your spiritual health, looking at your mental health. These are all components of health that go into our wellness because I believe that it is a perfect triangle that you cannot have one uh, without the other. They are three legs that, you know, if one is not standing correctly, then they all will fall. And so we're going to spend time this semester talking about each one of these concepts as well as, you know, proper rest, reproduction, exercise, uh, mental health issues, social health issues, you know, community health issues. All of these things will play a role. And as we go throughout this semester, we're going to be able to take a look at some of these issues. We're going to talk about a lot of these issues and not only talk about them but this is going to be the heart of our discussion that everything we talk about is going to deal with some type of health application uh, why is that so important um, my background is in health um, I received my bachelor's in biology from Oakwood University I received a master's in public health from uh, East Tennessee State University and also received my PhD uh, in public health uh, with a specialty in community health education and promotion uh, from Walden University and so I've spent the last you know 12 years on faculty you know at the college you know teaching biology teaching health I've given lectures and presentations um, even back when I was in college uh, working with different crises and environmental issues so we're gonna have a great time talking about health. Um, when I lived in Johnson City, I worked for the Tennessee Department of Health, and one of the things that we looked at uh, was how do we uh, work with health in disparities and disparities and things that we would call issues in the health world. And so I was privileged to work with huge swaths of populations and leaders to be able to work not only to put concepts together but to be able to work with community leaders and lay people to inspire them to create different change for their health programs to inspire them to want to have a personal health outlook but then also to look at how that personal health could have a community focus uh, to it so all together once we look at those issues it puts us in a in a different light and so I look forward to sharing, you know, my experiences with you, you know, over the course of this semester. I look forward to learning about your experiences as we go throughout this semester. And ultimately, as we progress together, you know, throughout this semester, I look forward to working with you. Uh, because as we learn about this health and wellness, it's just not a... A, a, a thing for you to just learn but it has some real life applications even to me um, if you asked me this same question in March of last year I probably would not have even have given you the same reaction but if I showed you a picture of myself you know from that same time last year to what I look like right now you would really say you have seen a lot of change and so a lot of these, you know, situations and what we like to call uh, determinants of health, all of this goes into this picture of health and wellness. 
So we're not just looking at, you know, college life. We're looking at how does health and wellness affect you from the womb, if you're a woman carrying a child, all the way up through your 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 pre uh, development years, to your preteens, to your adolescence, to your college years, all the way through. So health and wellness is not just simply what do I need for the moment, but it is a lifetime, you know, of learning. It is a lifetime experience. And so as we go throughout these lifetime experiences, it is who it is what makes us who we are. And so as we move into next week and we move into these lectures and they start to build on each other, we're going to be able to take a, a very you know, internal look at ourselves to see where we are, you know, when it comes to health and wellness. We're also going to be able to take a look at our external world to see how does our family, you know, or our other people either inhibit or support our health and wellness as, a, as an individual. And so these are those concepts that we will bring out and because basically we're looking at you as an individual being fit and also being well. And that fitness is not just physical. It is mental. It is spiritual. It is everything that your life might encompass. And so you also, you know, it's very often that you have different people talk about, you know, these issues. And they look at them through different lenses. Well, this semester for this course we're going to look at things from a very different lens because I'm going to look at it from a lens of what I've seen and experienced also capturing what we have in this text and truly be able to map out what it is that we want to do so as we go throughout this course and as we have this introduction I want you to think about three things what would be three things that you would expect to uh, to gain from from taking this course what are your expectations of learning for this course and hopefully that as we go throughout these next 10 to, to 12 weeks together we will be able to walk down that path together and be able to experience this health and wellness phenomena together to see how can we help each other improve not only our own personal health but the hells of our family members and those in our communities and our loved ones and everyone who might need to hear this message. What can we do to make our world a better place uh, from, a, from the aspect of being fit and being well? So I wish you uh, all the best this semester. Um, if you need to reach me, you can email me. Uh, you can call me. Uh, my number and at, um, an email address are on the syllabus. And so as we go throughout this time, never hesitate to, to give me a call, send me a text and uh, let me know that if you really need to reach me, um, that way I'll be able to respond or check my email uh, to know that I have something from you. So once again, best wishes. Welcome to HED 1050 Health and Wellness. Once again, my name is Dr. Lindsay. I am your professor. You can call me uh, Dr. K, Dr. Keith, Dr. Lindsay. Um, anything within that uh, collaboration uh, because I want us to feel comfortable with each other uh, as we go throughout this semester. And so I'm not very much uh, hung up on titles, uh, but as long as we have that common ground in which we can uh, communicate and work together, it'll be much appreciated. And so I wish you all the best as we go throughout this semester, and, uh, and I look forward to uh, conversing with you next week. All right, take care.